A 27-year-old man lies paralyzed from the waist down at a Bangalore hospital for almost a month now. He was returning home when he is alleged to have not stopped at a police barricade. A policeman on duty, he alleges, hurled a cane at him. That cane hit Rennie Thomas on his neck. He fell off his motorcycle and is now paralyzed. The police have a different story to tell. They insist Rennie failed to stop at the barricade and was under the influence of alcohol. Rennie's family now seeking an independent investigation. Rohini Swami has both sides of the story. A young man, full of life, living life to the fullest. This is 27-year-old Rennie Thomas. Now reduced to a cripple, confined to his hospital bed. Because a traffic cop thought the best way to deal with an errant rider would be to smash his spine, ruin his life. I was a... Uh... I was a shuttle badminton player. I, I, I was playing for Kerala. Uh, I don't know whether I can play after this. A young life has been put on pause for at least the next six months. Only because Rennie did not stop at a traffic barricade in Bangalore's posh area during a police drive against drunk drivers. On the night of July 23rd, Rennie and his friend were riding down the Banner Ghatta Road. Soon, they were flagged down by traffic cops at a checkpoint. When Thomas continued to ride on, a policeman hurled a lati at him. Thomas fell unconscious after being hit by the lati, but the motorcycle stayed in motion. The bike then crashed into the barricades and both fell off, injured badly. The this thing when he bet me over here, the sp spinal this thing, uh, uh, the bone, the C5 and C6 got broke down. Like on the spot itself, it's broke. It got it's, it. The doctor said it. It's like uh, opened. So open, while it, when it opened, the a piece of bone entered the spinal cord. So the spinal cord, which is coming from the head, so that made me to sleep like this right now. This. And he can't even, he didn't even show me the hands to stop the bike. If I'm going to the left side, he can show me the hands. So I thought of going to the right side. So advanced, advancedly itself, I took right. I tried to overtake the car. So he saw me, I'm overtaking the car. He came in between the, this car, the sumo. Stopped the sumo and he bit me. Now for the most unkindest cut. The Bangalore police have not sought a report, nor have they explained as to what happened on that fateful day. Rather, they have booked Rennie Thomas for rash driving. Rennie has two vertebrae that have been completely broken and he finds it very difficult even to move his fingers. Now, the question is how much more of physiotherapy and counselling Rennie would need to lead a normal life. Yeah, he has been booked on a rash on 279. The result, not only will Rennie end up missing a significant part of his college year, but his family will also incur massive expenses on his treatment. Very bad what police have done is he, the police have done which has made his, his career to be down and also the family situation also has been down very badly now. Like the father has spent more, almost about four to five lakhs right now for operation and for the treatment which has been given right now. And even further treatments for about six months which is going to take, that will be, which is going, he is going to undertake in uh, Vellore Hospital is going to be another four to five lakhs. And we don't know whom to blame. Today, a young athlete wonders whether he'll be able to stand on his feet again, whether he'll be able to walk again. But this is not the first instance that we have seen where cops have been hurt, motorists have been hurt because of bizarre methods adopted by the traffic police. But the question is, how many more Rennie Thomases have to happen before somebody steps in to do something? With Cameron Shumuti, Roni Swami in Bangalore for Headlines Today.